Hi everyone, um, today I wish to talk about a new rifle that I recently bought. This is a CZ455. It's um, synthetic. When I bought it, at least I thought it was uh, synthetic. And then it's a graphite barrel. When I bought it, I thought it was, uh, oh wow, graphite barrel. That must be expensive. And uh, that, might, that might be like a, a graphite wrapped barrel or something. Because I've heard about them, they said that it's uh, increasing the rigidity and that it's more accurate. So I just bought it. I don't see that it's normally accurate, but I bought it because um, I thought it was um, it was more advanced technology involved. Like they were more advanced technology. And that's what I thought at least. So I bought it because it's um, on special and it's only six hundred thirty dollars in the city gun shops and. Um, it comes with a lot of freebies like an ammo box and uh, a gun bag and uh, a lot of uh, and also a junk scope it comes with so but but I, I don't like that junk scope so I put a Swarovski on it uh, it's a Z3 it's a great scope so but uh, after a little while I just discovered this rifle is not what it looks like let me show you <laughs> I wish all the buyers who buy this who wants to buy this rifle Consider a game before they buy it, because here's what I'm going to expose. Just look at this. It looks nice, right? It's a um, suppressor. Oh, no, sorry, that must break. The whole thing just come off. This is what it looks like. Real, it's it's real looking. Just look at it. It's a very short barrel, and it's not vomit. This makes it look like bombing and a very tactical and a very high technology involved. But this is what it is actually. And then let's look at this. Oh, it's terrible. Very disappointing to be honest. This is what it, what is real real face is. This is just a decorative <laughs> graphite tube. Maybe it cost five bucks to make, to buy from Chinese manufacturers. Maybe it's made by CZ, but it's a purely decorative. There's no function. It's gonna, not gonna increase the rigidity by any chance. And then it's this, it's, it's a muzzle brake. It looks quite well made. Uh, yeah, many people are gonna say it's, a, it's a, like a, you don't need it on a, a, a 22, but they put it up. I thought it gonna uh, increase the, like uh, the accuracy, because um, uh, even when you're shooting a 22, there's still a bit of vibration on the like um, of the gun when it's a tiny bit of recoil. If you can reduce that somehow, that probably contribute to the bit better accuracy. But this wouldn't. Let's let's have a look. It's a uh, such a long tube. This is like uh, uh, like 15 centimeters long, and inside has a very big chamber. So. When it comes to a muzzle brake, this is a, what a real muzzle brake looks like. The the gas from the from the from the bullet, it should just uh, immediately being released onto the sides to create that uh, muzzle braking power, the, the the force to to push the the barrel, like to pull the barrel up a bit to compensate the recoil. Um, so that's the thing, you have to make use of that uh, gas, the, the escaping gas, as quick as possible, as quick as uh, the, the bullet uh, leaves the, 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 the muzzle. But this one, look at this, it's such a big space inside. It's uh, such a big, big chamber inside, big room inside, which means that it's a tiny bit of power coming out of the 22, um, the, 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 the front muzzle. It just released inside and uh, until here then the the gas was released from those holes but there's no meaning anymore because uh, most of the gas already expanded a lot here expanding a lot there isn't any muzzle braking power from here this is the purely decorative piece although it's quite well made it's uh, aluminum cnc uh, laced cnc laced I think the purpose of this is just to make the rifle look a bit longer and then to hold this 
graphite, decorative gra graphite tube. This is really bad. I, I really don't like the idea, you know, like, uh, and then it's, this is a rifle. It's actually a very short barrel. So basically from my experience, it, this is from my guess and my experience, I think the shorter barrel uh, rifles like 22s, um, the stabilizing ability uh, to the bullet probably wouldn't be as good as the long, longer barrel ones. Um, especially when, when in a long, shorter distance, it probably you wouldn't show any difference. It probably be the same. But after a bit longer distance, like over 100 meters, yeah, it's a maximum range. But from there, you can see the difference. And uh, normally the longer barrel ones, if you shoot a 22, it should stabilize a bit better at that distance. That this is from my understanding and my guessing, my experience. Um, and there's another thing which I later found was really bad. I found it was a little dent here. When I bought this, uh, when I bought this uh, rifle, um, I thought it was uh, it was a uh, synthetic. So, but after after a little while, I just look at it. Oh, there's a little dent. It didn't look like a, a synthetic because a synthetic wouldn't make that much that kind of dent and uh, so uh, later I opened it up and also I find the front was a bit of, bit of uh, not floating so I decided to do a bit of work to the to the barrel to make it floating so I just open it and uh, here is what I discovered when I bought this rifle in the gun shops in the Abela uh, in Sydney uh, the guy told me yeah synthetic yeah it looks nice holy this is not a synthetic actually you wouldn't believe it, right? Let me show you. That's a ni nice upgrade from the 452. Oh, they eventually use the Tox. It's uh, less 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 likely to be um, stripping stripping those uh, screw screw heads. There we go. Let's expose the real face of this rifle. So sorry, I'll put this barrel on the side. And um, here we are. This is actually a birch wood. Um, like it's a oak looking timber with a lot of dots, like um, the the figures. Uh, when I was uh, doing the shaving on the on the on the edge, like doing the sanding and the shaving, I just noticed. Uh, the sh shave from my plane, little plane, it comes out like timber looking. And I just look at it. Holy, it's a timber. This is actually fake. It's not synthetic. It's uh, just a rubber coating on, on the top of uh, on top of the wood, on the on top of the timber. What's the point? This is really bad. Like, it, it feels great, the, 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 this, I mean, this, um, this stock. But what's the point of making it, coating some rubber on, on top of the birch wood? If it's a... Uh, a timber one, I'm still gonna buy it. But to to make it this way, it's really like um, bad. I don't like it. And especially when the, probably this is the, the responsibility of the, of the gun shops. They told me it's a synthetic, but it's not actually synthetic at all. This, this rifle is um, full of functions, which is the uh, useless, purely decorative and uh, misleading. And uh, it makes me suspect the <laughs> ethics of the CZ. Um, I was a really big fan of CZ, but I don't like this type of uh, how do I call it? marketing strategy, maybe. Oh, let's look at um, other parts. Um, I wish to make a little comparison between the Bruno 2 and uh, uh, 452 and this. Um, 455 is uh, the great feature is that it can replace the barrel that's a good thing about it and that's uh, the reason i bought it as well so in the future uh after exposing this barrel this is a very short barrel and the, and then like a normal weight barrel not a heavy barrel uh, i'll probably just uh, change the barrel to be a ibi something that i can buy from the um, cleavers like a pre-fit pre-fitting one and then remove those screws and uh, put the new barrel on uh, at least this is a great action it's a cj action Mm. So they put a bit of um, plastic here to maybe to change to the other other sort of uh, uh, calibers like a 17 HMR or something. Yeah, um, 
this part is pretty good um this is a a forged trigger this, this part is a forged it's the same as a 452 452 um but on the on the bot it's slightly different i think this is a very normal so a company um try to save the cost uh, like uh, to get more profit this is a very normal uh, so let me show you what happened uh, this is a 452 and uh, clearly you can see i don't know if you can see it this is a, a bit of pattern that's normally indicates it's a it's a forged part so this uh, bolt handle is a, a forged bolt handle and um on a cz455 uh, by the looking of it there's a, a bit of seam here you see the seam this direction you can see it the seam so it looks like it's a it's a uh a cast cast part this part this bolt bolt handle is a uh, casted maybe a cast of steel doesn't look like aluminium so and it's a cast so from the strength point of view the forged parts is normally better uh, stronger and uh, this is a, a forged forged part and then they machined it machined the ball this one, it's uh, casted. Uh, yeah, they put a bit of a hole there, maybe to reduce some of the weight. But um, on the strength point of view, I prefer the, the forging forging ones. This is a four four five two, and uh, other than that, uh, all the bolts bolt parts are identical. Maybe they are even exchangeable. And uh, I also have a, a Bruno two, Bruno two. This is uh, from nineteen eighties Bruno two, and uh, uh, the ball is um quite well designed and uh, they put a bit detent there a, a small ball a ball bearing ball there uh, with a spring inside a strong spring so that it locks onto the action uh, it looks better more maybe because um the the accuracy of the the, 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 the you know the action making during that time was not as good as the the, the 452 because um yeah because the later ones probably cnc'd and the very early ones, they probably be uh, milled out, or drilled out. Uh, let me show you. This is a this is a lovely um, Bruno tool I had for so many years. It's a 1980s um, walnut. It's a it's a great rifle. Uh, although a lot of the parts, it has shows a lot of um, like the finishing is not as good as the 452, but it's well designed and uh, a very good rifle. I think in that that time's technology, it's a it's a, it's great. But um, the only bad thing about the Bruno two is uh is it's um the action inside the inside action, the the making it's uh, very rough. It's because that time's tooling and the technology, you know, the ma machining, it's not as good as the uh, today's tooling. Today you have a lot of more like um different uh, tooling material like drill material or uh, milling material, milling milling bits new new technology milling bits and also the better better like uh, machines so the the inside the drilling and the milling of this action is very coarse so if you if you wanted uh, if you want the rifle to be very smooth it, it takes a, a a while to make it smooth and uh, it probably wouldn't be as uh, smooth as a uh, as a a, a, a a CZ 452, you need to put a lubrication, and uh, on a CZ 452, if it's uh, like worn a bit, and then it become more, more smooth. So you can you can hear it when it's uh, coming down. There is a detent. You can you hear? It? That's a detent. Looking at it. it's a very good, like a design rifle. It's uh, one of my favorite. It's older than me, but I like love it. Uh, and then this is uh, my 452. Uh, I had it for years, and uh, it's a great rifle. It killed a lot of rabbits with me. And um, uh, inside of the, as I said before, inside of the action, you know the 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 inside inside internal surface of those of the the hole, it's a uh, more uh, smooth. And because of the thanks to the modern tooling like uh, CNC and stuff. And it's uh, after a little while. Oh, sorry, what did I do? 
Oh, sorry, I need to remove this. There we go. It's very smooth, more smooth, you see? Smooth like silk. And um, that's a good thing about, I love the 452. And this is the genuine stock, synthetic stock. You can, you can hear it by knocking it. It's a very good sound. And uh, you, you can use your finger to fingernail to, to, to scrape it. It wouldn't uh, scratch at all. And um, I had it for, for a long time and I really love it. It's a synthetic, it, uh, sorry, this is a synthetic stock and with a, with a nickel coated uh, barrel and action. So it's uh, less likely to have rust after like a tired rabbit hunting or something, like a whole, whole night's work. For the for this action, um, I had a I had a like a I had to use it for a little while, and oh, inside is also very smooth. This is uh, also the same as uh, the the four five two. Sorry, what I did it. Oh yeah, there you go. It's also quite smooth. So I think uh, it's uh, quite new at the moment. After a little while, it will kind of worn a bit. And it's gonna be same same smooth as the four five two, but in terms of uh, material, the making and uh, like I love the four five two better. But with the four five five, I do love this function. This function is really good, uh, so you can change the barrel at, by yourself. But what, what can I say? Uh, see, they did like develop such a, a very stupid product to entertain the people who who love the looking of the these things and uh, that where's that where's that one? Oh, this one mm. yeah these two things are really like very disgrace mm. thanks for thanks for, thanks for watching